Hello and welcome to this episode of A Shepherd's View. As you can see, I'm here in the chapel today and um, this is, as we shoot this uh, particular video, uh, it is Christmas week and I'm standing here in front of the nativity and our advent candles. You'll notice that uh, four of them are lit now. Uh, we have not lit the Christ candle, that will be Christmas Eve. Behind me over here is the Chrismon tree, and uh, it makes a, a very beautiful setting, a, a very uh, neat setting, and, and it's been a tradition here in the chapel now for quite a while, and uh, to remind us of Christ. Uh, we have not lit the Christ candle. We have not put uh, the manger out, uh, with the baby Jesus, so to speak. I keep that for Christmas Eve. Well, speaking of Christmas and, Chris, and Christmas Eve. Um, one of the things I want to share with you today, anyone that has been watching the weather, listening to the weather, and uh, kind of keeping an eye on things will know that on Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, our weather has uh, deteriorated. <laughs> um, I, I say chalk another event planned up to 2020. It's just what it is. Um, and so I'm letting you know today in this video, we'll be getting word out to everyone as best we can uh, to let everyone know that the Christmas Eve service that was planned to be on the veranda, to be outside, to be around the lake um, in a more open and beautiful setting there, uh, we are just not going to risk uh, being there and being sorry and having to move right away. So decision that is made is we are going to have uh, the service in the chapel. It'll be at the time, same time at 6.30. Uh, it will be on channel 195. It'll be broadcast there and it'll be also on uh, live streamed on the internet uh, on our uh, sunnysidevillage.org. So it's Everything's going to be the same. We're just going to move the venue back here into the chapel and just leave it at that. I told Jay David this morning, uh, as we talked about this, uh, I would rather be in the chapel and just simply saying, wow, we could have had that on the veranda anyway than be on the veranda wishing I was in the chapel. We're, they're calling for 20 mile an hour winds, 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up close to 30 and a 50% chance of rain at that time of the afternoon. It's just not worth having all the equipment and everything out and doing it there. So 6.30 here in the chapel, it's gonna be same time, same program, same everything. Uh, it's just gonna be inside. And uh, we have room for 40, 45 people. We often uh, have not even approached that, so I encourage you, if you want to come, go ahead and come. We'll be here in the chapel, and uh, I would love to have some sort of an audience in here anyway. Well, moving along on that, my devotion I wanted to share with you, uh, and I'll shorten this up a little bit. The Devo devotion I had planned for today is taken from uh, something I mentioned uh, in Sunday's sermon, there was a point at which in 2 Samuel 7, David uh, has this whole conversation with Nathan. Those of you that watched the service or were in the service remember this part of the sermon where Nathan the prophet tells, tells David uh, what God has planned for him and the fact that his kingdom is going to go on out of him really is, is uh, it's a messianic passage. Uh, speaking of there would be one come from him and his kingdom would be forever. And so this great uh, passage in scripture is a wonderful thing. And, and so as David receives this prophecy and this encouraging word from the Lord, from the prophet Nathan, it says that he went into the tabernacle. He went to the tabernacle and he sat down in the presence of God. Oh, I just love that part. And we, we talked about that Sunday. Well, today it reminds me of this passage in Psalm 27. 
It says, one thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Wow. The starting place for all of this is found in Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Be still and know that I am God. David had a concept of sitting in the presence of the Lord. This week, as it's Christmas week, it's many things going on, it's busy, it's wrapping things up, my encouragement to you today is to sit in the presence of the Lord to be quiet in his presence, to sit in his presence, to enjoy his presence. You know, being in the presence of the Lord, it's not about a religious practice. It's about a relationship practice. I know um, Ruby and I love to sit together in the evenings and be in one another's presence share a meal together, to maybe work on a puzzle, put a, uh, do something else, or simply watch maybe our favorite TV show. But it's about sitting in her presence and us being together. It doesn't even have to be some great conversation, just talking about the things of the day, but it is being in one another's presence. Well, that same relationship value goes for being in the presence of God to sit in his presence. Maybe it's not saying anything. Maybe it's just having a conversation with God about your day, about the kids, about uh, your neighbors, what's going on. But it's just, sometimes it's just being still and being together. So this week, as we approach Christmas Eve (laughs) and we approach Christmas Day, these great days of the church as we stop and remember the coming of the Christ child, the promise being fulfilled, simply be in his presence. Enjoy the company of those around you. It may be few this year. It may be different this year. It may be totally upside down from what you remember it in years past. Enjoy one another's presence, but I encourage you as well this week, stop sometime and simply say, God, I'm here. I just want to be with you. Let's pray. Gracious Father, we thank you. We thank you so much for your presence and and in the middle of this turbulent time, at this moment, as we approach These are the longest nights of the entire year right now. The shortest day, the longest nights, the greatest time of darkness here in the Northern Hemisphere anyway. This time when we look to the light of the world. Gracious Father, uh, we just look to you. We, We open our hearts to you. And my prayer is that all those listening in today will come together, will just sit in the presence, your presence, remembering the way that you have managed their lives this year and to get them through. So Lord, we give you thanks and praise. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, as I close out, just this reminder, uh, change in venue on Thursday night. We're going to move it back into the chapel. It's still at 6.30, Christmas Eve. It'll be a candlelight service. Come and join us if you you may. And if you can't join us in person, join us uh, on channel 195 or on the internet. Welcome to have you. 
Have a blessed day. Thank you.